guys i hope you're well welcome back to my channel i'm just in the car at the moment because i have to go into the hospital today for a scan i'm so excited i'm gonna see bubba it is actually my 29 week scan um it's just a growth scan i don't think everybody um is given the scan it's only because i'm at a high risk for preeclampsia so they just want to check that the baby's growing okay and that everything looks good with the placenta so I haven't actually left the house in a really long time. The last time I went somewhere was to the hospital and that was about three weeks ago. Um, we have been going for our daily walks, but I haven't been going to the supermarket or anything. So I did feel quite nervous about leaving the house today and going into hospital, especially a hospital where I know that there are quite a few coronavirus patients and where people have died. And I know a few other people have also been feeling a bit nervous about going to antenatal appointments. So the aim of today's vlog is to try and capture um, just what's going on in the hospital, just so if anyone else has an antenatal appointment coming up, they can just see how things are going. And so hopefully they won't feel so scared about going in. Um, I'm also really interested to see how much has changed. So yeah, I'm just going to leave in a second. It's so sunny. It's such a nice day today. It's so weird. I haven't driven the car in so long. I'm so excited to drive. How weird is that? Usually I hate getting in the car because it means I have an hour commute. But yeah, it's become a bit of a novelty now. And also look, we've got the car seat in that's where little bubba's face will be just there so i'm gonna make my way to the hospital now um i've got a mask to put on before i go in and i'm also wearing my glasses just because i don't know my dad and tony told me to wear glasses apparently you can get coronavirus through your eyes did not know that um don't know if it's even true so don't take that as a fact um but i thought i'll just wear them and i've also got a mask to put on before i go in so um yeah hopefully i can film in the hospital and i'll let you know how it goes bye Hi guys, so I just got to the hospital and the car park is absolutely packed. It took me so long to find a space, um, which has made me a little bit nervous because I'm thinking if there's so many cars here, there is going to be a lot of people in the hospital. Um, I forgot to mention that Tony can't come to any of my antenatal appointments or scans. So I think that's the same. Oh, bless. Oh, God. <coughs> bless me got such bad hay fever i think that when i go into hospital everyone's gonna think that i'm sick but i'm not it's just hay fever um but yeah as i was saying tony can't come to any of my appointments now and i think that is standard across the country i did feel a bit sad about it because um the scans are just so lovely like they're so magical and we were lucky enough to have two of them together and i know that tony found it like a little bit emotional and he always holds my hand and makes me feel like i'm doing a really good job for carrying our baby so yeah it's gonna be a bit shit doing it by myself but i'm still excited to see bubba um anyways i'm gonna put my mask on and go inside <laughs> So I'm back in the car now and I was literally in and out within 15 minutes. Um, unfortunately, she wouldn't let me take any videos um, of the scan, which was a bit annoying because Tony couldn't come and like I don't know what the harm would be in just taking a little two minute video. But anyways, she gave me some really nice pictures. He was just so cute. He was like kicking his head. <laughs> he was all like scrunched up in a ball, just kicking his head. So, um, yeah, he's growing well. Um, I think she said he weighs like two point something pounds now. But yeah, I'm going to go home and then I'm going to tell you about how the hospital was set up. It was completely dead in there and they did have some really good precautions. And I was actually really impressed with all the changes that have been made since I was there, like literally three weeks ago. So much has changed. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to tell you all about that. Hi guys, so I'm just back home now. I threw all my clothes in the wash as soon as I got home and had a little snack, obviously. I can't believe how quiet the roads are outside. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. It was so sad seeing the high street just completely deserted. Um, on the other hand, so nice to drive the car. <laughs> like, honestly, I was having so much fun. But yeah, um, I can't wait to go and drive it again. <laughs>
So yeah, I'll just tell you about the hospital and all the changes that they've made. Last time we were there, no one was wearing masks. It was still quite casual. They were trying to kind of isolate people in waiting rooms and stuff a bit. But today, when I went in, it's clear that they've got their shit together. Like, everyone was wearing masks. The sonographer was wearing a mask. The receptionist was wearing a mask. Most of the people in the hospital were wearing masks. A lot of them were wearing gloves as well. When I walked in, it was pretty much completely empty. One thing I would say is that if you do have a hospital appointment, try and find out where you need to go um, before you actually go in because you don't really want to be walking through the main entrance. So I came in through the side entrance and I went straight up to the women's block because I knew that's where my scan was. When I got there, the receptionist, like I said, she was wearing a mask and they'd actually taped off where everyone needed to stand in the queue which was great also everyone who was in a waiting room was um separated um, no one was sitting next to each other and they'd even try to make kind of new waiting areas so that um so that people weren't on top of each other obviously for maternity appointments they're trying to do a lot of them over the telephone so a lot less people are going in so there was literally like four or five people in the waiting room after i checked in for my appointment i didn't actually have to wait in the waiting room i just went straight to the corridor where my scan was but before i went there i had to wash my hands basically by all of the reception desks they had put sinks so everyone has to go and wash their hands before they go anywhere and the sink is like timed so it forces you to like wash your hands properly so i thought that was really really good also they had the usual anti-back everywhere wherever you walk in and then lastly something that i wasn't expecting is that when the sonographer came out to meet me she um she saw that i already had a mask on and she was like oh great you don't need a mask so she'd come out with a mask for me to wear and she was also wearing one she was wearing gloves during the appointment usually she would kind of sit next to me but she was a bit further away and was more like reaching over and yeah i have to say like i felt really safe when i was in the hospital um i think i got worried for no reason at the moment no partners can come to the scans or antenatals you have to go to them alone but obviously a lot of appointments that would have been done in person are now being done on the telephone in terms of the birth at the moment i'm only allowed to have my birthing partner there for active labor and then they will have to leave no visitors afterwards um they're trying to discharge people within six hours no water births, no home births, um, and no visits after baby. Everything will be done on the telephone. And when I first heard these things, I was really, really, really scared, like terrified, to be honest, because I just felt that the care is going to be compromised and like there might be things which won't get picked up, um, especially after labour when they try and discharge us really quickly and also um if something happens at home they wouldn't pick up on it and i guess that's just the anxiety of being a first-time mum but at the end of the day seeing those nurses and even the sonographer reception staff everyone in hospital i just felt so grateful for them for even like showing up and being there and being able to care for us during this time so i completely understand why they put these restrictions in place because they obviously need to be protected and kept safe. Although we feel like we might be alone during birth, we won't be. We're going to have amazing midwives with us and we don't know who that person will be yet, but at the time we will feel so close and connected to them because they will be helping us through one of the biggest things that we'll ever go through. So I hope that if you have an antenatal appointment, you don't feel too anxious about it. Um, the hospital is probably a really, really safe place to be at the moment. If you are feeling really anxious about birth, just try not to worry and keep calm do some hypnobirthing just remember that you will not be left alone <laughs> you are you are a woman giving birth you will not be left alone it's not that bad come on we can do this we're strong women we can do this um but yeah oh let me tell you about Bubba. he was so cute <laughs> it's so funny because when i had my scans before like my 12 week scan and even maybe my 20 week scan i just felt a bit freaked out i was like that's not going on in my belly like it doesn't i couldn't kind of like comprehend it but this time when i saw the baby i was like that is my baby that is bubba that is the person who's been kicking away at me all this time and i can feel his like limbs when he moves around and like i just felt so connected to him and it was so 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 cute um so he's head down which is good um really really good obviously his head's down here his back is here which totally makes sense because I always feel kind of pushing and pressure on this side. His bum is up here and then his legs were curled down here. So he was basically kicking himself in the head. It was so cute. Um, you can see his little foot and his little toes right next to his face. So sweet. I'll show you some pictures. So his head's here 
and then his foot was up here somewhere <laughs> just kicking himself but she couldn't get the head and the foot in the picture this bit looks really weird it looks like he's got a little paw but i think it's just his foot or his hand or something so i'm back home now i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i might make spaghetti bolognese for dinner because i really crave carbs oh my god I'm, I'm like loving spaghetti at the moment so maybe we'll have some spaghetti spag bowl yeah i'll see you in a bit